Thank you for choosing to watch this video on the best stocks to buy now. For more videos on the best stocks to buy, please subscribe and press the like button. With that being said, let's dive straight into today's stories. In the ever evolving landscape of financial markets, the journey can be akin to a roller coaster ride. Over the past year, we witnessed a steady ascent in the stock market, with many investors reveling in the joy of continuously rising portfolios. However, as financial markets are known to be cyclical and dynamic, the story often takes unexpected turns. Currently, the narrative revolves around a different theme, a period of notable volatility. This narrative is elucidated by none other than Jacob Manukian, the distinguished head of investment strategy for JP Morgan in the United States. Manukian, with his astute market insights, suggests that each of these volatile periods bears its distinct characteristics. In this particular chapter of Market Turbulence, the defining feature is the pronounced fluctuations in U.S. Treasury yields. The stage was set for an intriguing turn of events when last week the interest rates on 10-year U.S. government bonds surged to an attention-grabbing 4.88%, reaching a 16-year high. While the subsequent retreat to 4.65% provided some respite, the initial spike left a significant mark. Manukian uses a compelling analogy to emphasize the importance of Treasury yields in the broader financial ecosystem. He likens these yields to the very bedrock upon which the entire edifice of the financial markets is constructed. Just as a shaky foundation can undermine the stability of a building, the unsteadiness of Treasury yields can introduce significant challenges to other segments of the financial markets. The outcome of these oscillations has been a period marked by sell-offs, where nervous investors brace themselves for uncertainty. However, Manukian introduces a compelling counter-narrative. In contrast to those who perceive only pain in the ongoing market pullback, he argues that there is a silver lining to be found. He suggests that the current situation holds good value in the market now. This assertion is grounded in the belief that earnings expectations continue to ascend, indicating the underlying strength of many companies. Furthermore, the recent market correction has effectively realigned valuations with their 10-year historical averages, a factor that tends to attract value investors. Looking ahead, Manukian anticipates a renewed market rally driven by several factors. He points to forthcoming earnings seasons, positive seasonal market trends, and the gradual stabilization of bond yields as key elements that will likely contribute to this resurgence. Such an accomplishment would be propelled by robust earnings growth and the expansion of valuations as the specter of inflation gradually recedes into the background. With this encouraging perspective in mind, investors find themselves at a critical juncture, pondering the pressing question, which equities should they load up on at this juncture of the market's roller coaster ride? Fortunately, the astute analysts at JP Morgan have been diligently sifting through the market landscape, identifying promising opportunities and zeroing in on two stocks that exhibit remarkable potential for substantial growth. These stocks not only offer a chance to participate in the market's revival, but also present unique narratives that capture the imagination of investors. The first stock that has garnered their attention is Apellis Pharmaceuticals, a dynamic biotechnology company that operates in both commercial and clinical domains. Apellis has dedicated its efforts to pioneering innovative therapeutic agents that operate through the C3 pathway within the complement system. A pivotal component of the broader immune system, the company's primary focus is on addressing diseases of the retina and nervous system, for which there is a glaring lack of effective treatment options. Apellis boasts a rich research portfolio that encompasses preclinical development and includes two drugs that have received approval for commercialization in addition to several late-stage clinical trials. Apellis's roster of approved drugs, which includes Empaveli and Saifovre, has demonstrated considerable promise in treating conditions like paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria and geographic atrophy. Despite some initial concerns regarding potential side effects, early Q3 sales data for Saifovre have exceeded expectations, indicating its substantial market potential. J.P. Morgan's Anupam Rama showed a vote of confidence by upgrading APLS shares from a neutral rating to a buy rating. He is particularly bullish on the potential of Pegsetico Plan, the company's lead asset, and envisions an impressive upside of approximately 82% with a price target of $81.
The second stock in the spotlight is Live Oak Bank Shares, a holding company that owns and operates Live Oak Bank, a digital bank headquartered in the heart of North Carolina. Live Oak Bank has carved a unique niche for itself by specializing in providing small business loans, with a particular emphasis on those backed by the U.S. government through the Small Business Administration. While the bank's customer base primarily comprises small businesses, it also extends its services to individual customers, offering a diverse range of personal banking services. Among its offerings are high-yield savings accounts and certificates of deposit, and the bank provides the added convenience of online and mobile access to its customers, all without the burden of online or monthly banking fees. Furthermore, accounts held with Live Oak are insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, providing an additional layer of security and peace of mind for customers. Live Oak's recent financial performance has been notably robust. In the last reported quarter, 2Q23, the bank recorded revenues of $108.46 million, surpassing the forecast by an impressive $1.4 million. Additionally, the bank reported an earnings per share of $0.39 cents per diluted share, which was a significant $0.07 cents ahead of the estimates. As we look ahead to the 3Q23 results, the consensus anticipates revenues of $116.3 million and an EPS of $0.48 cents per share. Despite reaching a peak in its stock price in August of the current year, Live Oak's shares have since experienced a noticeable decline, with a dip of over 24%. However, JP Morgan's Stephen Alexopoulos believes that this pullback presents a promising opportunity for investors to consider getting on board. In his view, the recent sell-off provides us with the entry point that we were waiting for. Alexopoulos contends that not only does a rising 10-year yield provide tailwinds for the bank sector and Live Oak, but there are also several near-term catalysts that are poised to propel the stock toward J.P. Morgan's $40 price target. He emphasizes Live Oak's unique strengths, including its industry-specific approach, technological acumen, and distinctive service culture. These elements, combined with the stock's attractive valuation, prompted Alexopoulos to upgrade LOB shares to a buy rating. His overweight rating is paired with a $40 price target, suggesting a potential increase of 37% in value over the next year. In summary, the experts at J.P. Morgan have done the legwork and identified promising investment opportunities in Apellis Pharmaceuticals and Live Oak Bank shares. With both stocks showcasing considerable growth potential, investors are presented with a tantalizing investment landscape as they navigate the dynamic and ever-changing financial markets. These stocks, underpinned by their unique market positions and growth prospects, offer a compelling narrative in a financial environment marked by fluctuation and uncertainty. The journey in the financial markets continues, with twists and turns aplenty, and these stocks offer a chance for investors to ride the wave with optimism and confidence. If you want more videos on the best stocks to buy now, please subscribe to the channel and press the like button. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck and happy investing.